What if Disney expanded the Skyliner network? It's been a question throughout the community for many years. The current Skyliner has five stations, Caribbean Beach, Hollywood Studios, Art of Animation slash Pop Century, Riviera, and Epcot. All of these stations build the network of what we know today as the Disney Skyliner. What if we went further? What if we looked to Animal Kingdom? In this video, we'll go through satellite imagery and the Reedy Creek 2032 comprehensive plan and we can look at how the Skyliner could realistically be expanded into the future, flying high over the skies of Walt Disney World. So this here is the current Skyliner system. We have the main transfer station at Caribbean Beach, and then we have the Epcot line, the Hollywood Studios line, and the Pop Century slash Art of Animation line. But in today's video, we're going to be discussing some expansions to the current Skyliner network. And in this video, let's just say we're going to think big such as Animal Kingdom, and maybe even the Magic Kingdom. But let's first start with maybe an expansion on the Caribbean Beach Station itself. This station will no longer be the main transfer station, but I am going to add one more line to the system. This line is going to be from Caribbean Beach over to Disney Springs. That is one of the most requested lines, but there is a bit of a problem with this situation. Many people would just say, go directly across here to get to Disney Springs, but that's where the problem comes in. This land is not owned by the Walt Disney Company. It is owned by many other resorts, which is why there's a Hilton, a Waldorf Astoria, a Wyndham, and a Marriott. It's all because this is not Disney property. So then, what's our solution to this? Well, we are going to add a turn station. So I did not mark it on our map, but this is actually the only Skyliner turn station. You could consider the Riviera station a turn station as well, but it services people. So that's why I'm not considering it a turn station. So now here's going to be the solution. Because of the Caribbean beach situation, which really there is no way to do a turn station without encroaching on the Bonnet Creek property, we are going to move it to Riviera. So what you're going to have to do is say you're here, you can come out here and we're just going to add a place mark here and we just need a turn to make sure that it's not in line with the previous station and we will name this Disney Springs line. So from the Disney Springs line station the Skyliner will come up here and cross the road and then we're going to stop here and this is where we're going to have our turn station. And then, once we get over here, you can see that I have just taken over this little bus station here because I don't even know the last time this bus station was used because the big bus station is here now with all the resorts and stuff and there's even some over here. So we're just going to say that we can take over this little bus area and make it into a Disney Springs station. Now this is one area that I did suspect would be a little bit of an issue with this. And this is... Old Key West. And one of the reasons I think this is a big issue is this is a golf course. Golf balls fly. And if you are on a Skyliner, you have a risk of getting hit with a golf ball. <laughs> so, this is just a preliminary idea. This might not end up becoming a thing. But, if they found a way to make it high enough so that there's no risk that Skyliner gondolas get hit by golf balls, then yes, this route is plausible. And I even made sure by checking the Reedy Creek land use plan, which lists if any land is suitable or unsuitable for development, and all land used by turn stations and tracks are all suitable for development. So that is good. Next, we're gonna turn our eyes this way. Now, one thing that I keep thinking to myself is what are we gonna do about the All-Stars? Now, my thought process at one point during this whole plan was to just skip the All-Stars altogether. Because in the end, the All-Stars are the value resorts, like the value value resorts of the property. And it would make sense for Disney to just want them to keep being buses. And looking at the land use plan that I'll show you right now, green means unsuitable, darker green means marginally unsuitable, a light green means marginally suitable, and red means suitable. Now. 
These are the all-stars here. And if we were to have a Skyliner line that went to the all-stars, there's really no way for it to get to our next destination, which is Animal Kingdom. So, with this whole plan here, that's why I'm going to go ahead and skip the All-Stars. Because, if we were to keep the All-Stars here, then, one, there would be a less advantageous system to having the All-Stars being the minimal resort, and by making the All-Stars on here, we would have to do a complicated turn system to get the Skyliner to our next location, which really is just not suitable. So, we're going to go ahead and we're just going to skip the All-Stars for this situation. So, now that we're back here, we are going to make a Skyliner transfer station like Caribbean Beach here. And this is why. One, this Pop Art station will not be changing. The Pop Art station will stay the same. So, after that's built, there will be another station on the other side which you can take to get to our little turn station over here, uh, full of stuff. And it lines up with Hollywood Studios, so we could just send a line directly down, and there's the turn station here. And then that lines us up to go directly this way, through this little patch of road work here, which is the only way we can get to Animal Kingdom, and then into the Animal Kingdom parking lot. So now we have the unoriginally named Southern Skyliner Transfer Station. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little pin there, and then a pin here, and then we have a new line coming from Hollywood Studios, running along this little pathway here, through the cast parking lot, through this little bit of trees, which when checking our land lose plan is apt for this situation, that is, as it is marginally suitable for development, across Osceola Parkway and into the Southern Skyliner Transfer Station. Now I have a new line coming from the Pop Slash Art Station South to the, Scholar, to the Southern Skyliner Transfer Station. Now what this allows us to do is this allows us to avoid this intersection here, which will one, be very busy, and two, be hard to build a Skyliner around. So what we do instead is we take the turn station for the Skyliner deep into the path of this, again, suitable land, which is right here, which we can take the Skyliner here, and then coming up the other way, from here all the way up here, which will fit into our Southern Skyliner transfer station. Now here's where our situation gets a little complicated. How are we to get to Animal Kingdom? When According to this land use plan, we have to fit the Skyliner in this teeny tiny little space here, which is considered, in the chart, marginally unsuitable. Well, what I believe this relies on is a little bit of a puzzle. So after all of that puzzle pieces and everything, this is what I ended up with. So I did have to put in two turn, three turn stations just so we could get it past this cloverleaf interchange and through this little section here but it seems like we made it in the end so what i did is we started out here at the southern skyliner transfer station then we came along here down past world drive through the as much as the clover interchange i could avoid with being reasonable then we came to the first turn station which gets us a little bit of a turn this way takes us over this parking lot over this interchange, and then here, where I've measured that this space is about 200 feet and will be able to fit a Skyliner turn station. And then, you can see if I turn my camera this way, we've basically hugged as close as we can to the road with being reasonable. Because the main problem with this all being unsuitable is all these brown trees. This is Reedy Creek. And you can see that this road here is basically a bridge. You can see there's the bridge on the side. This is not a normal road, this is a bridge. So that's why it's a little complicated to get through. But I think that with enough perseverance and pretension ponds and anything, Disney can get through here. And then one final turn station to get us on track. Then we go through the 
Animal Kingdom parking lot a bit. And then we end up here for the Animal Kingdom Skyliner Station. And that's pretty much it for our expansion. You can see it all here on the station. We've added connection to Disney Springs. We added a connection to Animal Kingdom. And we added some intermodal stations in between. But with all that being said, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below what you'd like to see next. This was my first episode in the What If series, and I'd love to see what you'd like to see next. Anyways, I'm Mouse Travels, it's been magical, and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone!